This jar was one of a whole series of jars that Archambault uh, created uh, for his uh, 2002 show at the Prime Gallery. And to my mind, uh, that's one of the best series of uh, work that he's ever done. This is Robert Archambault, a master potter at work. The potting is very simple, but it's very strong. The glaze, even though it's austere, it's, it's actually uh, very deep and rich. I like the fact that when you combine all these elements together, it really, to me anyway, embodies generosity, serenity, and total connection with Earth. Um, these qualities are even more obvious if you put this side by side with uh, work of some other potters or even with work of uh, Robert Archambault's um, when they're less developed. It's interesting because I once recommended uh, a, a piece of Robert Archambault to a friend of mine and uh, she gave it to, uh, she bought a teapot and gave it to, uh, to her father. And her father is actually a very serious collector of Chinese ceramics and he's never met or known Robert Archambault. But as soon as he uh, saw that teapot, her first comment was, oh, this must have been done by a potter with very large hands. That to me is really quite incredible um, because it really shows that, um, that the work really reflects the, the, the person's uh, personality to a certain extent. This piece is essentially a functional work, although because of the um, monetary value of it, I have to say that uh, I um, have not used it too extensively. At home, when I um, had this piece, it would have been um, placed on, a, on, a, on an antique table uh, with uh, proper lighting. Uh, and it is quite wonderful, especially with, um, with his work, I find that um, Looking at his work in the middle of the night, to me, has got the most magic. <laughs>